His pioneering works were called indistinct, and people refused to buy them. Indigence and despair nearly made him drown himself, and now his pictures are among the most expensive canvases in the world. The French Impressionist painter Claude Monet said, What I do is good, because it is not like anything else. This is just an impression I got and experienced myself. Claude Monet, one of the founders of Impressionism, was born in Paris in 1840. His father, a grocer, had a store in the seaport of Le Havre. The indisciplined teenager spent more time on the seashore and on the rocks than in class. He drew cartoons of his teachers on the covers of his exercise books, and by the age of 15 he was known to the whole Le Havre for his caricatures of citizens. The works of young Claude Monet attracted the attention of painter Eugène Boudin. Boudin was called the artist of heaven, familiarized Monet with the use of oil paints and en plein air techniques that were considered as unacceptable for academic painting standards. Later, Monet said that Boudin took the bandage from his eyes and helped to see the world surrounding him. In spite of his parents' opposition, Claude went to the capital to learn art. Monet avidly imbibed new impressions, got acquainted with Auguste Renoir, Alfred Sisley, Camille Pissarro. On sunny days, the young artists went with their paints and easels to the country to paint the nature from life. Two pictures by Monet, accepted by the Salon, the most prestigious exhibition in Paris, became the first success of the 25-year-old artist. Because of the similarity of the surnames, people often confused Claude Monet with Edouard Manet, the author of the scandalous Olympia and the luncheon on the grass. To surprise the visitors of the Salon, Claude decided to create his own version of the luncheon on the grass in 1866. He worked on a huge canvas that was six meters long for a few months, but the picture didn't appear in the Salon. Monet had to give the work that had almost been finished to the landlord towards rent. Monet painted one canvas after another, but there weren't buyers. The jury of the Salon considered his works to be too avant-garde, and the artist couldn't get out of misery. His beloved woman and muse was pregnant, but Claude's relatives who supported him were flatly against their marriage. Only when Monet's son was three years old, Claude legalized his relations with Camille. In 1874, at the alternative exhibition of the Anonymous Society of Painters, Monet's work, Impression, Sunrise, was displayed. Its title, the journalist spoke of ironically at first, became the definition of the new trend in art, Impressionism, from the French word Impression, Impression. The recognition and prosperity came to Monet only when he was more than 40. The prices of his pictures started increasing. The fear of creditors Monet experienced for many years disappeared. But Monet's joy was darkened. Soon his wife Camille died after the birth of their second son. The former wife of Monet's patron, Ernest Oshede, supported Monet. Neglecting sneers and gossips, Claude Monet, his two sons, and Alice Oshede, who had six children, lived as one big family. Only after Ernest Oshede's death were Claude and Alice able to get married. Monet traveled a lot, looking for visual impressions. He returned from his journeys along with lots of sketches and recipes, and he managed to compile a book from them. Trying to reproduce the change of color and light depending on the season, time, and weather, Monet was the first to create series, landscapes, that is, dozens of paintings of the Thème, Haystacks, Poplars, and Rouen Cathedral. In 1883, the artist bought a house in the village of Giverny. He got the permission of the local authorities to move the waters of a quiet small river to his park, created numerous ponds, a greenhouse, and a garden with a Japanese bridge, hired six gardeners to look after the park and splendid flowers collected from the whole world. The garden was the continuation of his studio. 
Monet said that he had become an artist to reflect the beauty of flowers on the canvases, and if he hadn't been a success in art, he would have devoted his life to botany. The huge series called Water Lilies is not only the result of the work of the great master, but also the reflection of the pain experienced by a man who lost two wives and the eldest son, who suffered from rheumatism and lost his eyesight very fast in spite of some operations. I will paint even if I am blind, like Beethoven who composed while he was absolutely deaf, Monet said. The cataract changed his perception of colors. He couldn't use the blue color because he hardly told it from the black one. Choosing the color, Monet relied on the label on the tube of paint. Fortunately, three years after the first operation, his vision was restored and the 85-year-old artist returned to his work. A year later, in 1926, Claude Monet passed away. The series of pictures called Nofea, Water Landscape, was exhibited at the Orangerie Museum in Paris. Claude Monet, the impressionist and the author of these works, tried, as he said, to do an impossible thing, that is, to paint the light itself.